Hello and welcome, it's Bushwhacker here with another Stationeers tutorial. On today's video we're going to cover the basic setup for the new integrated circuits. This tutorial we're going to need a few things. The integrated circuit, the integrated circuit housing, a computer, and the motherboard IC editor. Unfortunately, setting up your first program chip is going to be quite resource intensive as it's going to cost you 25 copper, 20 gold, 8 steel, 5 electrum, 5 iron, and 5 solder. Uh, but because of the functionality that this has, it's going to be well worth it. And once you build the computer and the motherboard, you're not going to need to build them again. So let's go ahead and get started on setting this up. Of course, you're going to need a power supply. And first, we will set down our computer. So I have power running to these cables here. Um, I'm going to set this down right there. And uh, once I have that placed down, I can open up the compartment here and I'll place in the motherboard IC editor. So we'll throw that in there. And let me wire it up. You want to make sure that you power up the data and the power connection. Okay, and now we can place down our uh, IC housing here. So take this. And we want to make sure that the power and the data ports are connected up to the same network that our computer is. So we'll place that down. Uh, I'm actually going to flip it here so we can read it a little easier. And finally, we'll take our integrated circuit and we will place this inside. Now, this integrated circuit chip is what's going to hold your program. So once you load a program onto it, it will stay in here, um, even if you take it out and move it to another housing. Uh, now, you can see that this uh, housing here has six screws. They are the devices that are used by the integrated circuit. There are six of them, and they are labeled from D0 to D5. And they're going to give us the ability to read information like such as solar angle or to write information to something like a batch writer. Uh, they can all be inputs, they can all be outputs, or they can be any combination of what's in between. Um, the device they are set to is adjusted by using the screwdriver, just like you would on any other of the logic kits. Uh, it can be turned on and off by using this little button right there. And now that we have all the required components down, uh, we can go to the computer and we can open up the editor. Okay, I've turned on the computer here, and you can see that our integrated circuit editor has popped up now. Again, that's because we have that chip inside of the computer. So on the top left here, we have a drop-down menu. This allows you to see which ICs are on the network. So currently we only have one uh, integrated circuit here, so we can select that one. Um, the import button. So if there were to be any uh, data on this chip, so if for some reason uh, it had a program on it and you wanted to see what the program is, you can press the import button. Now obviously I just placed it down so there's nothing in it right now. But if there were, you would be able to see what program is on that chip. And all the way to the right here, we have the export button. That is for when you've written a code, you press that export button and it will write that code to that chip. And that chip will keep that code uh, no matter where you move it. So that's super convenient. Now we can go down to our edit button and obviously this is gonna allow us to edit our code. So we can see that we have 128 lines of code here. Um, at the top of the window, we have our help. So we have the S of X. So these are what are called slot variables. We have X. So these are our device variables. And we have F, which is our functions. Now these are gonna become very important later but for now, I just want you guys to know that they're there. The library button here allows you to take any code that you've written and you can create new and that allows you to save it. Also, you're allowed to import 
any source that you've or any code that you've written before by pressing this import button. Now that this will save it between servers and between saves. So once you've written a code, you don't have to write it again. It'll always be there. And now that we have the setup complete and a basic understanding of the integrated circuits, we can start programming. But we're gonna save that for my next episode. If you like this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave those below. Again, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bushwhacker out.